Okay, so we are going to dive deeper into the civil engineering curriculum. Um, if you remember, we saved our civil template in a safe place, so we're going to open that now. Um, just to recap about a major template, you can kind of see the structure of it here. All of the classes that are required for you as a civil engineer are up in this section. Um, and below, you're going to see the footnotes and then your elective courses that you get to take um, or you'll get to decide on later down the road. So if we zoom in, you can kind of see we have footnotes here, this one, an A, a two, and then we'll see the numbers kind of explaining those footnotes. Um, and then you'll see things like elective, elective, elective. Here are those electives. So it's kind of going to be structuring uh, the end of your four years, which is definitely not something we're thinking about today. Um, but just so you have an understanding of what's at the bottom of this page. Um, when you look at this, you know, it does seem like very sh structured, very linear, um, like there are stepping stones that you have to take. Um, in one sense, that's true, but it, there is some flexibility here as well, um, which is a bit of what I'm going to talk about today. Um, and of course, we'll revisit during the webinar. And if you reach out to me, I can kind of go into that deeper for you on an individual level. Um, so let's start by zooming in to this fall semester. All right, so when we look at the fall, we can kind of see um, what we would consider like a plan A. We look at the spring, we see a bit of a plan B. Um, and for some of you who are coming in, in with AP credits, um, we might even look to our sophomore year for a plan C, but we won't worry about that right now. Um, here in the fall, let's kind of work from the bottom up. Um, right here, you'll see an IHSS which is um, your gen ed course through the humanities, arts, and social science elective. Um, in your first year, you will be taking an IHSS course, so that is why you see this here, kind of like the math, the ENGR, the civil, and the chem. Um, we're gonna give you much more information on the Haas um, in, a, in a further video, so I'll leave it at that for now. Um, calculus one, um, you have you know your basic uh, engineering curriculum. So that's going to be math and science courses and our entry level engineering courses. So right off the bat, we're going to be looking at calculus one for a math class and we're going to be looking at chemistry one for our science class. Um, and then for our engineering courses in this first semester, um, we have our engineering 1100, which is introduction to engineering analysis. And then we have our civil 1200, which is engineering graphics and CAD for civil engineering students. Um, you can kind of see these numbers over here. These are the number of credits each course is. So this is our one credit course uh, that we want to take for the fall semester. All right, so here's where the nuances come in for a civil engineering student. Um, IEA, this class here, Engineering 1100, is actually really important for you to get into your fall semester. Um, one thing that we kind of repeat through the guide is that there are prerequisites and co-requisites as you continue through your curriculum. So while there is flexibility, for example, this class here, Modeling Analysis of Uncertainties, only prerequisite is Calculus 1. So theoretically, if you had Calculus 1 coming into RPI, you could move that class up, right? Um, everything is kind of like a domino effect. IEA is the start of one of your domino effects. Um, for a semester where you will, have to line it up just like this. So we have all of our introduction courses in your sophomore year. Um, these courses help lead you into whatever concentration you choose for civil engineering. Um, of course, that is much later down the road, so I'm not going to dig into that any deeper, but this class is the start of that. So here, here's what you could think about for your first semester. So we are absolutely going to be doing a Haas course. Um, we are absolutely going to be doing a math course and we're going to be doing your uh, intro to uh, civil CAD, which is this course here. Um, here's where some nuances begin a little bit. So IEA is a class where a lot of students um, have said that physics is very helpful for this course, as is Calculus 1. If you have not recently taken physics in high school, you're not coming with the AP physics class, you could take 
Physics 1, which we see in our spring semester, instead of Chem 1 um, in our fall semester. So I'm actually going to put that little blue dot here just so we know that this is kind of where the flexibility can be for us, right? So rather than chemistry, we're going to take physics one with our IEA class. So this is an example of a first semester, right? Um, if you come in with AP credits, so this is kind of a different ball game. And for example, you know, you do come in with calculus one, which is actually um, probably a lot of you, and you do come in with, let's say, physics one, right? So we're taking courses from both sides of our first year now. Um, it will change up what we take. So um, we want to stick with our math and science course. So for calculus one, we're going to, of course, go over to calculus two now. Um, and then because we have physics one, we have a couple options here. So first of all, we can take chemistry, which we see is kind of the other science course in our first year, or we can move on to physics two. That is totally up to you. Um, some students feel very strongly that I just finished physics two or physics one in high school. I'm feeling confident about my physics skills. I want to jump right into that upper level course. And some students are like, well, I don't really want to look at physics again for a minute. Let's take chemistry and then go into physics too later. Um, totally your option. For this example, I'm going to just choose chemistry. So that way we kind of pay attention to all the classes in our fall semester. So with AP credits, we would take chemistry. We would take our engineering graphics and CAD. We would take intro to engineering analysis. We would take our Haas course and we would take calculus too. Um, so you can kind of see how that works, right? If you're coming in with a boatload of AP credits, that's where I say reach out to me so we can really speak to your skills and kind of take a look at what classes are flexible in this civil engineering curriculum for you. Um, my contacts and information is all through the guide. Don't be afraid to use it. Um, all right, so that's as deep as I'm going to go into the civil engineering curriculum for this video. I look forward to speaking with you during the webinars um, and carry on with the guide.